They say they're on the streets to fight government attempts to centralize power and crack down on dissent. Thousands of people turned out on Monday across Bolivia. Protesters are concerned about a law the government wants to pass to fight illicit profits and terrorism. Nilda Quispe Mojo says the law will hurt people like her. We want the law to be annulled. There are articles that harm us, that could make us lose all our belongings. They should fight for our country, for our well-being. We are here for our children. Experts say the law violates rights to due process and could be used to persecute political opponents. The nation is deeply divided since Evo Morales was forced out of office in 2019 after a disputed election that forced him to leave the country. Luis Arce from Morales' mass party won the elections last year with a landslide vote. During his State of the Union speech on Monday, he said he has the responsibility of helping Bolivia move forward, and that's why he's hoping to pass a series of laws that will help the country recover from the pandemic. When the people voted last year, it was said clear that they did not want unconstitutional governments and gave us legitimacy to govern. It told us they want political, economic and social stability to advance. They trusted the economic reconstruction of our country, of the health system after the pandemic, the right to education, and showed us the way of peace through justice. But not everyone agrees. In the lowland city of Santa Cruz, the stronghold for the conservative opposition, protesters block roads and set tires on fire. The government says the opposition is using the law as an excuse to generate instability in the country. The strike, while widespread, does not have the support of a major labor union close to the government. But on Monday, thousands showed their concern on the streets. They believe the laws to fight what the government calls illicit profits could lead to an attack on private property. And that's why they vow to remain on the streets until the government gives in to their demands. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera.